Hey folks, and we're back with another episode of our Factorio series. So, we left last game with our energy production done. All I've done is I've added two more mining minor drills here, so as you can see we're getting a lot more coal. So that leaves us with what is the next step? Well, our next step is going to be iron production. That's what we really need to modernize and get going. So we are going to collect whatever little amount of iron there is here. Oh, I'm pushing caps lock instead of the shift button. Silly, silly. Oh, let's get some fuel going there. And uh, we need to make more drills, lots of drills. And we are going to have stuff going and we are going to have a mass line of all the raw material and then a mass assembly line of furnaces. So we're gonna need lots of stone as well. Once we have the drills done, we can make a bunch of furnaces and we're pretty much just going to have a massive area where we set up all of our all of our materials. We I'd really love to just tear what we have this down. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this to that smaller portion to the south. I think that's the best move. That way we can still have some iron being made while we're doing this cuz we're bound to run out and need more, especially as you can see we don't have much in the way of uh transport belts and that's what we're really going to need so let's collect that we're going to use these already antiquated burning drills here or my <laughs> burning drills mining drills burner mining drills is what they're called and let's here we go let's collect what coal we have here we're gonna we're gonna put in some more wood there so that actually lasts a little while okay so now we want to set up a lot of these. So this is going to be the first step. There we go. And that should be, that's gold right there. Now, how are we doing? We need, we're gonna need a lot more iron. So I'm thinking we're also going to need some copper. Although we're actually, we're doing okay for copper. Just give me all of this stuff you can. We're doing very good for coal down there as shown. Uh, although our power plant right now is still really small. So we don't really have a lot of worries, but we will have to watch once we expand because mining drills do take up a fair bit. So again, gather what we can here. And let's see, we're going to need these. Okay. Um, you know what? No, let's try and save what we can here. Nope. Another game that doesn't seem to work great with fraps unless I'm just doing it wrong, which really is a possibility. we have here while we're doing that let's get this hooked up to the power grid okay later you do unlock better power lines <clears throat> power lines that reach farther power power lines that power a much greater area uh, so it really does get much more modern and you can really compact stuff but at the same time, you're going to spend a lot more time having to go for minerals farther away because you've really mined out the current area. Okay. We want pretty much all of these. Lots of these. Because we're going to have eight of these furnaces going. Okay. One. Let's see. We're going to have four on either side for now. One, two three four and this is an area that again we are probably going to need to remake at some point once we get more advanced things once we get better furnaces once we get better oh, let's see I want to move this down there we go 
once you get better furnaces, once you get better transport pads, even better uh, transport, what do you call it, the arm things? What are they called? Inserters, that's the word. Once we get better inserters, it will get very important. Uh, I'm going to come down here and collect a lot more of this coal, because I'd really like to power uh, all these boxes, all these furnaces, with as much coal as possible. So, to that degree, we are actually going to set up one of our inserters here to just start filling this box up. That way, instead of running up and down this transport belt all the time, we can just run over to the box and get whole stacks of it. As you can see, it's a uh, it's fairly slow. They insert it only when it's needed. I believe with one of the more recent recent patches, places like um, uh, the inserters or the mi burner drills, if they need the material, so for example, if they run on coal and they're mining coal and it runs out of fuel, it will automatically insert the fuel, which is great. So let's get you set up. We're going to need far more of those. But having eight more furnaces going is going to be awesome. And they will shoot through all this uh, material pretty fast, but that's good that we have a backup going already. Or a backlog of it, I should say. Uh, make the rest of that, yeah. There we go. Okay, we're going to put pretty much a stack into each of these. Just so they're all nice and filled up and we don't have to come back to them later. I know I said that and then immediately started putting half a stack in, but uh, that's because I would like to carry around at least a little with me. And then, of course, we're going, yep, yeah, use it up. I forgot all about the second layer of drill, or the second level of inserters. So we're going to start by getting this side of it set up. So let's, we're going, no, we're going to thief you. And put you there. And here we go. Okay, so let's connect you to the power grid. Um, let's see. Is that? Okay. And again, I'm trying to set this up with the minimum of fuss so that it will power as many as possible without needing a billion in the same area. So like that, okay, uh, we're going to need another one, but that's fine because we are now producing a ton over here. Okay, and we, my friends, are looking pretty fine. Our factory is going. We're already now producing a ton of iron, and we've got a ton of coal going if we need it. Uh, let's see, I'd rather bring you over here. Okay, there we go. That wasn't really necessary, but what's going to happen is eventually we're going to have assembly lines or iron smelters and stuff over here, which will require the ton, uh, ton of iron to feed through it. So for now, we're going to put just an inserter to feed all this stuff into a box so that we can pick up stacks of iron as we need it but eventually there will be assembly lines and stuff like that over here. Okay, put you over there. Over here, and I've got, uh, I've just got you out. So this is a mess of lines right now, but we'll be able to clear all this up really fast once we get going with our actual tech process. Now, now that this is set up, we don't really need this producing iron down here. So I'm going to move this over to copper because we still don't really need a ton of copper being produced. So for now, having just a few burner, burner drills and burner furnaces over on iron uh, is going to do just fine. And eventually, in a future ep episode, we will go over and revolutionize our whole copper industry. But for now, it's not super necessary. So let's gather as much coal again as possible. Do our little jog along the transport belt so that we can gather all this iron up, or all this coal up. 
and then it's a jog over to the wonderful land of copper so that we can start producing more of that coppery goodness for all those electrical circuits and stuff. And it's actually kind of good that this is out of fuel because now I can set it up better is the word we're going to use. I would like a bunch of these because I'm thinking we will to a degree. Oh, that's I made too many of those, but that doesn't matter. Let's see. What is the easiest way to run? I think it's going to be that way. Okay. And there we go. And this is just meant to be, we're actually going to do it here. And we'll get rid of this. Just it saves that one tile. Because we don't really need too much. Uh, one space away, two, three, there we go. One, two, three. And one more. Now I'll do you fine. There we go. Same thing on the other end. Okay. And here we go there. Need yet another one. And we need a box. And eventually we will replace them with better boxes because each different kind of material box holds more. So wood boxes hold less than iron or eventually steel boxes. So we do want to change the boxes, but it's not really a priority right now. And I'd rather save that iron for other things. In fact, once this is done, we're going to take whatever iron is being produced and we are going to go build a bunch more steam engines on the back of our energy because we're going to need a ton more energy soon. Those electric mining drills really use a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. And it's not nearly as bad. I think the worst defender is the radar station, which we will set up because I like having one going in the background. But again, not super necessary. Let's gather all this. As you can see, we already have a bit of a backup go backlog going. That's nice. Once we do some research, we can get faster inserters going, which we'll do there but I don't really want to worry about expanding that too much right now. So instead, we're going to make a bunch more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make six, so that's a nice even thing. And we will run down here. We'll take this because it will speed our movement up a little bit, and we can start setting up more of these steam engines. Because as you can see, if we bring up the electrical menu, this is what we're producing, this is what we're consuming, and as you can see, our consumption is getting very near to the max of our production, which uh, which is not great. I like to try and have the production capabilities all the way down here, because the green is how much of it you need. So if this falls out and this goes down, it means you need a lot more. Uh, that didn't make sense at all, but don't worry about it. There'll also be, you can get accumulators eventually, and accumulators are essentially batteries. They store it so that if there's ever a, a brownout or you have a problem with your power, say fuel runs out, or if you're running uh, entirely on solar power, which is a thing, then uh, you don't need to worry about it. Okay. So we have some solar, en or some solar engines, some more, plenty more steam engines going. Eventually, rather than keep building back, which is a bit of a pain and not always uh, necessarily very effective, we will instead, there we go, we will instead build more out that way. You can get splitters for the transport belts that will split it off into another, uh, another line. We're going to have that set up and have whole other lines probably coming down. So now that we've built that, if we check it, the, our electrical network info, you'll see that our consumption is still high, but our production capabilities are much lower. All this is pretty much just excess energy. So we are looking pretty good. We're going to do a quick run up, double check how our copper and our iron is going. Uh, we are going to get rid of this part of the belt because there's no point in having all this stockpile down here. Everything is looking good, looking good. 
And up here, iron is looking fantastic. So we'll clean all this up so that we already have it on us for the next episode. And we are going to call this here. This has been Subject Neutral. I am your host with the most gankum. Have a good time, folks, and I will see you later.